Hello, everybody. Welcome to day 28 of the 100 Days of Narration Challenge. And this being the fourth fourth week. Uh, Well, start of the fourth week of me doing this challenge. No, wait. End of the fourth week. No. Yes. Yes. End of the fourth week. No. Start of the new week. Oh, whatever. Uh, anyway. Um... Mystery book challenge. Uh, basically, I will not be selling, telling, telling the title of the book, nor the author of the book. So you will have to guess what this is. If you know what this book is, be PM me with the answer and you will go into the running to win a 30 second message from me, which could be for whatever you want, which includes like, I don't know, me saying things in character voices or uh, me doing something, reading from a book you want for the thir only for 30 seconds, though. So it's. That's not a lot of seconds to for me to read something out for you. Or uh, like a message bank message, or you could have me scream for 30, 30 seconds straight. Don't have me scream for 30 seconds in a message straight. I uh, That would be terrible. I wouldn't like that at all. <clears throat> so, um, right. I guess I can give clues about this, but uh, it's, it's a pretty well-read series. Um... And it's a series, part of the series. Uh, for the rest of this week, I'm going to read books by the same author in this series. So um, basically, you can tell from that that there should be at least seven books by the same person. So it won't be something... It's not Harry Potter. It's not Harry Potter. Harry Potter does have exactly seven books. But it's not Harry Potter because I've already written, uh, read some of Harry Potter previously. So um, it'd be stupid to reread stuff from the Harry Potter because I've already done it. Um, so there's seven books t at least in the series um, by this author. Uh, fairly um, well read. Lots of people like reading it. And uh, yeah, if you can guess what it is and uh, guess what the book is, guess who the author is, um, PM me on over YouTube. And uh, yeah, you're going to running to win that 30 second message. Okay, so... <clears throat> Uh, let's have a look at this. Where shall we stop and read this out loud to people for reading? Um, <clears throat> uh, 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 let's, let's do this. Let's do this page. Page 193. Oh, it has character names on it. Uh... Uh, uh, oh, what the hell, I'll just read it. And if it's too much of a clue, well, so be it. You've got your clues. Is he dead? He said, speaking of a man with a sword half buried in his back. Extremely likely. Did you do that? I was inside the cell. Amazing. Good trick. Despite several years of experience with the facts of the matter, Rincewind remembered Two Flower had never really grasped, really wanted to grasp the fact that his companion had the magical abilities of a common housefly. It was useless to try to dissuade him, it just meant that modesty was added to the list of non-existent non virtues. He tried some of the keys in other cell doors. Various raggedy people emerged, blinking in a slightly better light. One of them, turning his body slightly in order to get through the door, was three yoked oaks. Three yoked oak oxen. Three yoked oxen. Ye. <clears throat> from the look of him, he'd be just, from the look of him, he'd been beaten up. But this might have been just someone's attempt to attract his attention. This is Rincewind, said Two Flower proudly. The great wizard. Did you know he killed the guard from his, from inside the cell? They politely inspected the corpse. I didn't really, said Rincewind. And he's modest too. Long live to the people's endeavor, said Three Oak Yokes and through rather swollen lips. Mine's a pint, said Rincewind. Here's Big Filler Key's belong door. You go letty people outy choppy chop. One of the freed prisoners limped to the end of the passage. There's a dead guard here, he said. It wasn't me, said Rincewind plaintive plaintively. I mean, I wished they were dead, but... People edged away. You didn't want to be too close to anyone who could wish like that. <clears throat> Yes, and is one of the few novels where it uh, actually starts at the beginning of a sentence and ends at the end of a sentence. So that's great. Okay, <clears throat> the more um, the, the 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 ones who uh, read the series probably know already what this book is. But um, 
We'll go for a second pass. Uh, I know I said I I I really should slow th- slow down to be able to read this, but it's it's got that it's got that pattern, you know. It's got that uh, okay. It's either you read this fast or you don't read this at all. I mean. Yeah, you could read it like this a bit, slowing things down to the point where things are a crawl. But then, but then, but then, but then, but then, but then, then, the wit just doesn't sparkle. It it doesn't. There's no luminosity. Oh God. Ah. Is he dead? He said, speaking of a man with a sword half buried in his back. Extremely likely. Did you do that? I was inside the cell. Amazing! Good trick! Despite several years of exposure to the facts of the matter, Rincewin remembered Two Flower had never really wanted to grasp the fact that his companion had the magical abilities of the common housefly. It was useless to try it was useless to try to dissuade him. It just meant that modesty was added to the list of non-existent virtues. He tried some keys. He tried some of the keys in the other cell doors. Various raggedy, <clears throat> various raggedy people emerged. Ra- various raggedy people emerged, blinking in a slightly better light. One of them, turning his body slightly in order to get th- to get it through the door, was three yoked oxen. From the look of him, he'd been. From the look of him, he'd been bitten. From the look of him, he'd been beaten up, but this might have been just someone's attempt to attract his attention. This is Rincewin, said Two Flower, Two Flower grandly. The great wizard. Did you know he killed the guard from inside the cell? They politely inspected the corpse. I didn't really, said Rincewin. And his mother's too. Long live to the people's endeavor, said Red Three Yoked Oxen through, ra- through rather swollen lips. Mine's a pint, said Rincewin. Here, big fella, keys, belong door, you go letty people outy chop chop. One of the freed prisoners limped to the end of the passage. There's a dead guard here, he said. It wasn't me, said Rincewin plaintively. I mean, perhaps I wished they were dead, but... People edged away. You didn't want to be too close to anyone who could wish like that. <clears throat> okay, so that was the um, second pass. Um, <clears throat> God, it's okay, it's okay, but uh, I think I can do better. <clears throat> I might actually have to do four passes because uh, I'm going through the, through this one pretty quickly. It's a very short page. Is he dead? He said, speaking of a man with a sword half buried in his back. Extremely likely. Did you do that? I was inside the cell. Amazing. Good trick. Despite several years of exposure to the facts of the matter, Rincewin remembered Two Flower had never really gra- had never really wanted to grasp the fact that his companion had the magical abilities of the common housefly. It was useless to try to dissuade him. It just meant that modesty was added to the list of non-existent virtues. He tried some of the keys in other cell doors. Various raggedy people emerged blinking in a slightly better light. One of them, turning his body slightly in order to get through the door, was three yoked oxen. From the look of him, he'd been beaten up, but this might have been just someone's attempt to attract his attention. This is Rincewin, said Two Flower proudly. The great wizard. Did you know he killed the guard from inside the cell? They politely inspected the corpse. I didn't really, said Rincewin. And he's modest too. Wrong lift to the people's endeavor, said three yoked oxen, through rather swollen lips. Mine's a pint, said Rincewin. Here, here's big fella Key's belong door. You go letty people out, each chop chop. One of the freed prisoners limped to the end of the corridor. Sorry, passage. One of the freed prisoners limped to the end of the passage. There's a dead guard here, he said. It wasn't me, said Rincewin plaintively. I mean, maybe I, I mean, perhaps I wished they were dead, but... People edged away. You didn't want to be too close to anyone who could wish like that. <clears throat> so, um, that was the third pass. Oh, wow. It's been less than 10 minutes, and I've already done it. Third pass of this... I was going to say the name of the book. 
<laughs> no, caught myself there. Caught myself there. And I'll and if I do say the name of the book, um, I'll probably just bleep myself out or something. Anyway, um, third pass, getting better. Yeah, getting better. Trying to keep up the patter while also keeping the um. Uh, aren't me. The pronunciations uh, of words, word talking correct. Because word talking not correct is bad, and you do not want to correct not talk words. I mean, incorrect not talk words. Incorrect talk words. I don't know how to do the grammar of bad grammar. Anyway, <clears throat> fourth pass. Is he dead? He said, speaking of a man with a sword half buried in his back. Extremely likely. Did you do that? I was inside the cell. Amazing. Good trick. Despite several years of exposure to the facts of the matter, Rincewind remembered Two Flower had really Two Flower had never really wanted to grasp the fact had never really wanted to grasp the fact that his companion had the magical abilities of the common housefly. It was useless to try to dissuade him, it just meant that modesty was added to the list of non-existent virtues. He tried some of the keys in other cell doors. Various raggedy people emerged, blinking in the slightly better light. One of them, turning his body slightly in order to get through it to get it through the door, was three yoked oxen. From the looks of him he'd been beaten up, but this might have also been someone's but this might have just been But this just might have been someone's attempt to attract his attention. This is Rinswin, said Two Flower proudly. The great wizard. Did you know he killed the guard from inside the cell? They politely inspected the corpse. I didn't really, said Rinswin. And his mother's too. Wrong live the people wrong life to the people than ever, said three yoked oxen through a rather swollen lips. Mine's a pint, said Rinswin. Here's Big Fella Key's belong door. You go letty people out, he chop chop. One of the freed prisoners limped to the end of the passage. One of the freed prisoners limped to the end of the pat end of the passage. There's a dead guard here, he said. It wasn't me, said Rincewin plaintively. I mean, perhaps I wished they were dead, but people edged away. You didn't want to be too close to anyone who could wish like that. Okay. Uh that's the end of that, I think. Um <clears throat> So that was four passes on this particular novel, which I will not say what it is, but uh, it belongs to a long-running series of some kind. So uh, that was uh, the Mystery Brook Challenge number four. If you can guess what it is, again, PM me with the answer, and you go into running to win a 30-second message from me for whatever you want. Just don't ask for shouting for 30 seconds straight. That would be crazy. And uh, yeah, uh, stick around, because tomorrow I'm going to read another book by the same author. Um, by which point I would have closed the competition, but, uh, yeah, so seven more books, sorry, six more books of this, and then we get to another mystery book challenge, mystery book challenge number five, but that's for another time. That's the end of, uh, day 28 of the hundred books of uh, narration, the hundred days of blah, 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 of the 100 Days of Narration Challenge. Stick around. Actually, don't stick around because this is the end of it. Um, but tomorrow, day 29. 